welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. It's been a minute. <laughs> I hope you guys have been doing well. I have been on a crazy roller coaster myself, which I'll be kind of updating you on in this video. I'm just gonna be doing a get ready with me style video and I'm so excited to be back, honestly. I was not expecting to have to take a break. <laughs> um, it just kind of happened. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I did this makeup yesterday and I felt so fucking pretty. <laughs> it felt so good to just like look at myself in the mirror and be like, Girl, you look great. So I'm just recreating. I'm trying to recreate the magic. Have you ever done that where you try to recreate the magic and it doesn't work? Um, I'm hoping that it does. Although it will just be wasted today because I have a doctor's appointment. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. I'm gonna start with a primer. I'm gonna be using this Rare Beauty one. I've used it a couple of times. I got this in BoxyCharm and I actually really like it and I'm really happy because I've tried a couple different Rare Beauty products this year and I have not been a fan and this I actually really enjoy so. That was a pleasant surprise. It's a really nice like feeling texturally, but I really like the glow it gives. It is like technically shimmer, but it's very fine. And so I feel like the glow on it is just really beautiful. So if you want a glowy primer, this one, this one seems pretty good. I mean, this is gonna probably be a long story. I don't know how much I want to like say or don't. Um, I am gonna be talking about like medical stuff. I'm, a, I'm an organ down <laughs> since the last time we talked. Um, so yeah, just wanna like warn you guys about that in case that is like something you don't wanna listen to or maybe even triggering. I could see how that could happen. And I'm gonna say from the beginning too, I know that so many of you might be really kind and <laughs> just want to like give your opinion or I don't know, help, you know, uh, about what I could do or this or that, but I'm not really asking for that. I know it's still gonna happen, but I'm just trying to say like, it's okay guys, like I don't need, <laughs> you don't have to comment that. And honestly, I'd prefer if you didn't, but you know, I can't control you, <laughs> do your thing, but yeah. Anyway, um, so the story starts, <laughs> I woke up um, and I was kind of uncomfortable all night, but I woke up in a lot of pain in the middle of my stomach, like straight down, right in between my boobs and my stomach. Intense pain, and I had felt it only once before that. It hurt so bad, it was in the middle of the night when that happened before, and I told Sam, I was like, if this keeps going, I, like, I think I need to go to the hospital, like it hurts so bad. Um, but it went away, so I was just like, fuck yeah, it went away. Like it must have just been gas, like it must have been, I don't know, something weird. Um, and so that started happening early morning again. And I was like, okay, hopefully it'll go away. Um, and about an hour into it, I was like, okay, it's not going away. I told myself last time if this kept happening, I would go to the hospital, you know, and get it checked out and just make sure it's not too big of a deal. Like, you know, I'm, I'm very adverse like to doing that. Like I don't go to the doctor very much if I don't have to and I kind of was just like, you know, it's like the more responsible thing I feel like to go to the doctor. I was in so much pain. I mean, I was super nauseous from the pain. I had called Sam, he was at work and he had come home to help me. So we went to the um, ER. And so I was there for a while. They were trying to give me pain meds and it didn't help at all. Um, and I was just in pain the whole time. They did ultrasounds and it was, gallstones. <laughs> I'm sure some of you who have had this experience knew exactly what I was talking about just from my pain, but um, yeah, I had gallstones and they did an MRI as well. Basically admitted me and the next day, I mean, I'm not going to get into kind of the experience at the hospital itself too much because that was a bit <laughs> traumatic, honestly. Um, but yeah, the next day they were like, we're gonna remove your gallbladder. So um, yeah, I went into surgery that next day and got my gallbladder removed and <laughs> it was all very um, sudden and <laughs> not what I was expecting. And so um, yeah, it's just like a scary experience I think. Like I have like a lot of anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. So um, you know, having to go under, doing like a real surgery. Although, you know, I think it's a more common surgery then maybe not you know it's still a surgery it's still like a a major thing going on you know and kind of feels like in that mode like kind of like do or die like you know even though that's not necessarily the case it just feels like you got to make decisions on the fly really fast and it, it was just a lot i mean at the time too when i went into surgery luckily though uh, my like gallbladder attack had stopped 
um, but it lasted like seven hours. It was a really long one. Um, and so anyway, uh, went into surgery, did that. Um, was terrified, but came out the other end, you know, that's always good. Um, and then I thought that I would be able to go home relatively soon because a lot of people that I've talked to, like my mom has had gallbladder surgery when she was like 23, she got her gallbladder removed. So, you know, I felt a little bit more like knowing how my mom's fared all these years, you know, it's not really changed her life in any way. I felt um, like comforted, I guess, by that. And it also made sense why I would also need to get gall, like my gallbladder removed didn't feel too weird, I guess, to me. But a lot of people who have the surgery are able to leave very, very fast. Um, and I was expecting that, but um, I, my liver was still like kind of inflamed and testing high, so they wanted to keep me. And so, you know, this whole ordeal turned into like five days at the hospital, which was a lot on my mental health, honestly. Like more than anything, it, you know, the hospital is just not a fun place to be and I've been very lucky in my life. I haven't had to be at the hospital a lot. And honestly being there, it really just gives you perspective on like other people's lives, on your own life, on how horrible this is, you know? And I'm going for something that's relatively, you know, in the scope of all the things that could be wrong with you, um, minor while also not playing down. The fact that, you know, it is surgery. They like had to cut me open and also just like take a piece of my body out of me which is weird, <laughs> so weird to think about. But yeah, just being there, I mean, technically Sam's not like allowed to stay, all of these things, you know, and I'm like just, I don't know when I'm allowed to go home. Like I thought, you know, going in to the hospital, to the ER, I didn't think I was gonna get admitted and then be there another week almost, you know? I was not expecting, I literally woke up, on, <laughs> it was St. Patrick's Day, I woke up on St. Patrick's Day and I'm like, okay, gotta film my Natasha Denona pastel palette video. Um, but then I was in all that pain and so it's just like, <laughs> Uh, my life was just, you know, kind of going off on a different way and in a path that, you know, was unexpected but also felt very out of control, which is not um, exactly <laughs> a fun way to go about your life. So, um, yeah, lots of anxiety, lots of sadness, I guess. And, you know, on top of that, I am recovering from surgery. And I think that I didn't, I don't know, I had, a, I had a lot of issues with, I feel like the doctor's kind of explaining things. There's just so many different moving pieces at the hospital. I feel like there's like three different sets of doctors. There's like the gastrointestinal people. There's like the actual just doctors on the floor that are kind of like general. Then there's the actual surgery people. It's hard to get answers from any of them because of course the other team has the answers that you're asking for in that moment. <laughs> and so I feel like going into this surgery, it, you know, I'm sure to like make me feel better. It's like, they didn't go into all the details, but you know, you get intubated when you're going under anesthesia and that alone is pretty painful. Um, like waking up out of surgery, I was like coughing, which coughing after being cut open is already just like the most odd experience. And so my throat was really sore. I had this like tiny little tickle of a cough um, for actually like the first day for sure, um, a little into the next day, but it, you know, that like really hurt. And also it was more just sore. I don't know if you ever experienced this, like when you throw up, um, sometimes like my chest will be sore from throwing up, just like kind of the <laughs> turbulence of all of it. Um, like my throat is sore, my chest is sore. And so I had that, like my, my throat is, was physically really sore from just that part on top of, um, you also have to be really careful and make sure you're doing breathing and all of that because of the anesthesia as well. Um, and so I'm still getting back like my full uh, lungs because it's just a lot of work on top of, again, having the surgery, having the cuts that I have. You kind of are in like protective mode where, you know, I didn't want to like breathe in a full breath and then get triggered to cough and then, you know, <laughs> feel like my sides are splitting open. And so, yeah, now about a week since surgery, I think I'm a little more than a week since surgery now. Um, I'm feeling like a million times better, but it's, it's taken a while and I still get really short of breath. Um, but I'm like working on that, trying to work on my breathing a lot. So, um, yeah, but you have to do that as well because <clears throat> didn't know this, which, you know, just feel like you're learning this whole new side and your life also becomes so consumed by it. That's something that is just so weird. You know, um, 
I'm kind of going off on a different thing here. Hopefully I can get back to where I was going, but I'll go here for a second. Your brain becomes consumed with this new problem in your life and it, it is all consuming. Like being in the hospital, it's like, I don't have time to think about perfume and makeup and videos. Like my whole life is just like, okay, what's the next step? What's happening? And Sam is amazing and was there the entire time. So supportive, you know, just, I can't. I literally can't imagine how it would have been without him. And I feel grateful that he's able to like be there with me all all the times that he was. But yeah, it's like um, a weird thing mentally because you just kind of start forgetting, even though it's a short period of time, like in the scope of my life, what's a week, you know? But in that week, it's like everything that mattered to you, everything you were doing gets put on hold is on the sides and and now you're just like all consumed with this new problem and like what feels like your new life and um that was like a lot to deal with honestly mentally it was really fucking me up i can tell you that okay let me do my eyebrows really fast and then i'll try to get back on track with where i was going Okay, all right, so before I interrupted myself, I think I was just talking about, oh, the anesthesia and how if you aren't careful, it's like it kind of restricts your breathing and the your lungs, I guess. I don't know all the time. I'm not a medical professional, um, <laughs> obviously. But if you aren't working on your breathing, um, you can get pneumonia because kind of like the mucus is still in there, whatever. Okay, so um, yeah, that was something I wasn't really expecting after surgery to be like a thing. Um, and I think something too that was really tough um, and has been tough, like I'm trying to like kind of let go of a lot of stuff and just like, <laughs> life is what it is, I don't know, um, is that, you know, I feel like the surgery is painted very like, it's so simple, like so easy, like not a big deal. Um, like people go home like the next day, even same day, and you can get back to work in like two days. <laughs> That's like what I feel like uh, my impression uh, was. And so I was like, great, like, wow. This is like, <laughs> it's like getting a skin tag removed. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's not, they are cutting you open and it's lucky that it's, a few different things. I was looking at like how they do it and it's like liposcopic. So they do like four different incisions <laughs> to like get in there instead of having one big cut, which is really great. Like how amazing that it's now that way instead of a bigger cut and all of that. But it is a lot of healing. It's taken me about a week to get more like full mobility back. Um, and even as I'm speaking to you right now, I have a doctor's appointment, like I said, to get my drainage tube removed. So I, I have a little, we call it my little blood bag, um, but I do have like a little <laughs> drainage tube in me in the middle of my stomach. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> which has been weird. And I'm like kind of nervous I'm filming this before that uh, appointment because I'm assuming they're literally just gonna like rip it out. <laughs> which part of me is like so excited to get this fucking thing out of me um, because it's like the thing that I feel like is hindering me from healing more because it's like, you know, a tube in me that's like not allowed to heal. I'm like, do I still need this a week later? Like what the heck? Um, but yeah, so <laughs> uh, I just don't know how that I'm gonna feel afterwards. So I was like, I wanna get a video up. I've like missed filming. I feel like I have so many ideas. I know I might seem a little low energy. I'm just, I, I'm not actually, I'm just like choosing to not be like, hey guys, surgery. <laughs> I'm trying to just be, you know, just more chill. Anyway, so yeah, I just feel like there was a lot about the surgery that was told to me that it would be so simple and so chill. And so when I felt like I wasn't having, like it wasn't bouncing back like immediately, I wasn't even allowed to be, again, like I said, released from the hospital in the way that I thought because my liver was high, like my numbers are higher, which I'll get into that in a second. Let me, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury and I haven't used this, I feel like in a while, um, except for yesterday. And oh my gosh, you guys, like I don't wanna like this as much as I do because I just feel like it's just, it doesn't, it's just this unassuming and it's like whatever and it's so expensive, but I do really like it. 
<laughs> every time I use it, I really do feel just like, damn, so good. Um, so anyway, I, I wasn't allowed to leave the hospital because of the liver numbers. Um, they wanted to just kind of monitor them, see if they would go down. And they weren't going down the first day at all. The second day, barely any movement either, still very elevated. Um, and so they were just kind of watching me, which was like another like hellish thing to just be in the hospital without really anything. Like I still had limited mobility. Sam had to like help me to the bathroom. Like, you know, it's just not, it's not fun things. It's not, <laughs> it's not worth that my life was taking me <laughs> only days before, but they wanted to just make sure. And so, um, luckily the last day, the day I got released, my numbers came back lower, like trending down, at least still high. Um, and so basically I'm in this like weird limbo state where they did another MRI and they, they saw a little dust going into like the liver duct or I don't know, there's like a million ducts, I guess, and stones go in there and block it and it fucking hurts. And um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know all of it. I just know that there was like, I guess some dust or debris, not like a full stone, I couldn't see that, um, but they were worried that something had been passed to my liver between, you know, the time I'd got my last MRI, but you know, the surgery and all that. So we're basically just monitoring my liver now. <laughs> it's uh, being babysat. Um, I'm gonna do more test work though. And if it doesn't go better, which it's trending down and I, I'm like over here just like, liver, you can do it girl. <laughs> And so basically I get blood work next week or this week, I guess. Um, and we'll kind of see if it goes down and if it's still trending down, that's great. And if not, I might have to have yet another procedure. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. No need to worry about it. It is what it is. So that's how I'm trying to take it. But yeah, so that's part of the reason I've been gone for so long. Um, and it took me a while to, I feel like, heal enough. Um, you know, even just mentally coming home when I finally got released, um, when we decided we'll wait on blood work before doing the procedure, because I could have chosen either one. I could have just gone straight in with the procedure. But I was like, if we're trending down, maybe I won't have to have it. And if I do later, it's the same as if I had it then to me. Like, and there weren't any things that were like gonna be so potential complications. It's like, I felt like the same risks were from both. Like I could get pancreatitis if I don't do it. I can get pancreatitis from the surgery, um, the, the new surgery. Like they're both like, I felt like the risks were kind of like all the same. So I was just like, and you know, might as well just wait and see. Um, if I'll even need the surgery in the first place or procedure, it's not nearly as invasive. Uh, doing like a sweep of the duct isn't nearly, like they don't have to cut me open, they'll go through my mouth, but still. Anyway, <laughs> there's like enemas involved, it's still a thing. But you know, getting released and finally coming home, like I literally got home and like just cried because it's almost like I, I knew what my home looked like, obviously I didn't like forget, but it was like, wow, like I'm a person outside of this hospital. Like I have things I like and I <laughs> exist outside of just like getting poked and prodded and examined and kind of ignored too, like, you know. <laughs> the hospital is just not a fun place, let me tell you. Yeah, I mean, let's see, can I show you? This is some stuff I got going on, like healing a little. These are literally just from the blood thinners that they give you every eight hours. <laughs> and again, that's like me a week out still. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'm doing great overall, mentally. I'm doing so much better. I really wanted to just give my body time to heal. And also like, you know, it's just, yeah, for me, a big mental thing going through this has been a lot for me and I feel a lot better, but you know, it's just like, it makes you grateful for your health, man, what you do have. And I just was a little <laughs> unstable. I luckily have like amazing friends who have been really supportive and um, so kind and all that, but it was a lot. Again, especially just like being trapped at the hospital. It, it, yeah, I'm grateful to, you know, the surgeons and the nurses and all that, don't get me wrong. It is just definitely not like a place for healing and relaxation. It is a place to, uh, you know, uh, uh, they even explained it like you are getting whatever you have taken care of acutely and you go home to rest. So I was very grateful, also kind of scared to go home. You know, it's like, I, I feel nervous now to go home. Like, 
is everything going to be okay? What if something happens when I'm at home? You know, that type of stuff. But so far it's been really great. I've been healing really well. Everything seems to be going to plan. Hopefully the blood work will come back good. We'll see. And if not, we'll just go from there. But yeah, I feel a million times better. I'm excited to get back to filming. I can tell you that much. And so that's kind of been uh, my life in the last little bit since I've not been here. I've really been trying to take it easy, trying to heal. I, I feel like I got off track yet again, but what I was trying to say is that it can be tough to kind of like know what the normal healing process has been. So I think I expected like all my cuts and like the actual, you know, incisions in my stomach um, to heal a lot faster than they did like I'm almost like and boom poof no hurting um and it's not that it even hurts it's more just uncomfortable like it's just such a weird feeling in there it's almost like weird cramping but you know it's not cramping you know it's because like there's cuts all over the place that's just like mentally again you know been like is everything going okay I just feel like hyper vigilant and like aware of like what's going on with my body everything seems to be going well um I'm excited to like get the thing, like I said, taken out today. Let me do mascara and then we'll like, we'll almost be finished. I'm excited, I'm excited just to like get this first video back up and done. I don't know if I'm missing anything, but um, more than anything, I'm just excited to get back. I have so many ideas. I definitely wanna get a video up for the Sephora sale uh, because you know what, man, again, perspective on your life, everything can change in a minute. <laughs> and I'm just kinda like, feels like the theme that keeps getting brought back to me is just like, everything can change in your life. So, you know, you gotta live your life to the fullest, do what you gotta do, do what you wanna do. And it's, you know, put into perspective, like I love what I do. I love making videos. I love talking about makeup. I love makeup. So yeah, I'm excited. I have like a ton of ideas. I'm hoping that I'll have the energy to film it. Um, again, you know, I don't know what the future holds with some of the tests, so we'll see. <laughs> but hopefully that'll even just be more planned out. You know what I mean? Cause that's like part of this. It was just so abrupt. So just like, and ripped from your normal life. <laughs> now your life's different. That made it quite chaotic. Um, but I want to assure you I'm doing so much better. I'm feeling good. I'm doing okay. I wanna thank you guys so much for the kind wishes. I made like a little community post tab because I knew like there was this moment <laughs> when I was in the hospital way longer because we had we actually had tickets to go see a play on Friday night. So I went into the hospital on Thursday, um, St. Patrick's Day. And on Friday night, we were gonna go to a play with our friends and we were gonna go to our friend's studio and do all this stuff <laughs> on Friday. And we were just so naive. I told Tim, I was like, remember when we were like I naive and thought, no, we can still make it to the play on Friday night <laughs> uh, and Friday was the day I got like surgery so yeah <laughs> it's just so funny to look back like no we're not gonna what are we thinking <laughs> but I made that post because I was like I just didn't know I had no idea how long things were gonna be I didn't know if I was gonna have to do like another procedure spend at least a few more days, you know, in the hospital and then start recovering even more. Yeah, I am, I, I just wanna thank you guys, first off for like all the kind wishes, like so sweet of you and I really do appreciate it. You know, I was <laughs> crying making them as it, I can tell you that. So yeah, it's just been a lot, but I'm on the up and up I feel and I'm excited to be here. You know, just gives you a new little lease on life, a new outlook on life. And um, I'm grateful that it wasn't something more serious, you know, as much as I just talked to you all about the pain, <laughs> all about the stuff. Um, it obviously could have been so much worse, so many other things. So I'm grateful um, to the doctors, to everything. I'm glad I'm feeling good enough to sit here, just to even sit up. It's like, you just realize how you know, one little thing, how all your systems work together and how you take for granted, like being able to just like go to the bathroom and wipe, you know, like <laughs> it's, yeah, it's eye opening, gives you perspective, you know? So yeah, that's where I've been. Um, I'm excited to be back. Let me finish with my lips. Okay. Rowan, you know, you know it. <laughs> I think I also need to finish my eye look. Usually what I do with this quad, so I use like, I use all the colors. I think that's one of the reasons this quad works so well, but then I take this kind of like topper shade and I'll just tap it kind of in this part of my eye. I'll zoom you in so you can see the final look, but this is like the look I do with this quad. If I'm bringing this with me, if I'm busting it out and using it, this is what I do. And I just feel always like, damn, Put me on the, the red carpet, baby. 
This is what I would do for someone else's makeup on the red carpet. It's just so goddamn pretty. Okay, so let me zoom you in so you can see the final look. That is what my eye makeup looks like. Super simple. I mean, I've been talking to you, but it was a really fast thing. So um, yeah, that's my eye look. And I appreciate you being here. I know that this is like a weird video and not for everyone, just kind of like an update, get ready with me type thing. Um, I'm excited to have like normal content coming soon. I have like a billion palettes. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I have like so many palettes. I don't know how I'm gonna get videos about them. So hopefully I can do that. I need to start working on that, but I'm excited to be back and just talk about makeup and fun stuff that I love. <sighs> And I really appreciate you guys. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope your life is going well. Um, and I thank you for being here. And I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.